Hi everyone, it's John here with OFAN, Omega Fats Action Network, and going to go over some science here published from Biomed Research International. And this is entitled Alpha Linolenic Acid, an Omega 3 fatty acid with neuroprotective properties ready for use in the stroke clinic. Are you kidding me? Great stuff here. Uh, what I want to do, I'm not going to go over every last little detail. Uh, I will provide the link at the bottom of the video for those that would like to get the, into the actual depths of everything. There's eight pages associated with this study. Uh, so plenty of reading. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll highlight some important factors. Uh, first thing I want to do is just talk a little bit about the abstract here. Uh, alpha linolenic acid, ALA is plant-based essential omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids that must be obtained through the diet. This could explain in part why the severe deficiency in omega-3 intake pointed by numerous epidemiologic studies may increase the brain's vulnerability representing an important risk factor in the development and or deterioration of certain cardio and neuropathologies. The roles of ALA in neurological disorders remain unclear, especially in stroke. That is a leading cause of death. We and others have identified ALA as a potential nutraceutical to protect the brain from stroke, characterized by its pleiotropic effects in neuroprotection. Vasodilation of brain arteries and neuroplasticity. This review highlights how chronic administration of ALA protects against uh, rodent models of hypoxic ischemic injury and exerts an antidepressant-like activity. Effects that likely involve multiple mechan uh, mechanisms in the brain and may be applied in stroke prevention. One major effect may be through an increase in mature brain-derived neurotropic, uh, neurotropic uh, factor, BDNF, a widely expressed protein in brain that plays critical roles in neuronal maintenance and learning and memory. Understanding the precise roles of ALA in neurological disorders will provide the underpinnings for the development of new therapies for patients and families who could be devastated by these disorders. Um, moving down here, uh, dietary approaches for stroke prevention and rehabilitation hold promise to improve outcomes in individuals at risk of stroke and for those who have had a stroke already. Although there is abundant literature that connects reduction in stroke risk to certain dietary elements and an increase in stroke risk to other certain dietary components. There is a paucity of clinical trial data to direct the public and clinicians in this important area of clinical need. Uh, compounds with the pleiotropic effects aimed at reducing infarct size by one or more mechanisms and improving our outcome would be advantageous in reducing the devastating effects of stroke on patients and their families. I'm going to go ahead and put the link at the bottom here, but I just wanted to go over a little bit of the information in terms of cardiovascular disease and in linolenic acids association with the prevention and or improvement with a condition like that for someone who's already been through that and somebody at risk. In the absence of definitive evidence, several sources imply rather than directly state that the high ratio of omega-6 and omega-3 that constitutes the typical Western diet may promote the pathogenesis of many diseases, including cardiovascular disease, cancer, inflammatory, and autoimmune diseases. Uh, also, as a footnote, looking at research which has been showing the association with uh, mental health, uh, ADD, ADHD, depression, and a myriad of other mental health issues and diagnoses as well. Just wanted to throw that in there as a footnote. 
and it is therefore a widely held belief that restoring the balance of omega-6 and omega-3 to a ratio of 5 to 1 is important, but this ratio theory remains controversial. Indeed, a high intake of omega-6 may not always be characteristic of many Western countries and the focus or uh, and the focus on the omega-6-3 ratio risk diverts attention away from simply increasing the absolute intake of omega-3 fatty acids, which alone has been shown to have beneficial effects, especially on cardiovascular health. And interestingly, the only the daily intake of EPA and DHA was promoted while the absolute and relative change of omega-6 and 3 in the food between the late Paleolithic period and the current U.S. Western diet seems mainly mediated by the pronounced change in the linolenic acid, ALA, ratio of the diet. So interesting enough, there's more information here, um, but it's just association with stroke reduction and everything else is just really impressive. But I wanted to go over a little bit of this information, provide this study for a full in-depth research uh, at your leisure and appreciate you listening i uh, just want to let you know that i do read for small device users and for the visually impaired so if that bothers you go ahead and uh, just mute that and go directly to the studies so enjoy the study and let's bridge the education gap together this is john from ofan have a great day